Hi, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm so happy that you're here today. Let's take a deep breath together. So, in, hold for four, and let out for four. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. Out, okay. So today's video, I am going to pull a card or pick a card from my botanical herb deck. This is not a spirit oracle deck like I've been doing in some videos, but just botanical herbs um, and medicinal plants. They're called knowledge cards. You can get them at Mountain Rose Herbs. And I have that in my link tree, that link to Mountain Rose Herbs in my link tree down below. So my link tree is the link that is, is for everything that is me, my website. You can connect with me, my newsletter, my home herbalist course. And like I said, the link for uh, Mountain Rose Herb where you could get these beautiful cards on, um, I want to say 60, 70 different cards. Botanical drawings, the back has... Um, some characteristics and information about the plant. They're like flashcards. So today, instead of doing like a spirit card, I'm going to more give the, the actual um, characteristics and medicinal effects of a plant. So I'm still going to shuffle. So while I'm shuffling, if you could like, subscribe, hit the bell button, comment, and again, check out my description down below. If you can watch this video all the way through, I would love to have you do that. When I'm cooking in the kitchen, I play videos. I have um, some of my own favorite channels and I let them run. Well, mainly because I'm cooking and I just want to watch the whole uh, video. But by watching for me, I get more watch hours and I'm trying to be monetized by YouTube. So help me out. Help a girl out. Watch the video all the way through. All right. I just shuffled. I'm just going to pick a card on my lap here. Maybe I'll turn this down so you can see. All right, here we go. Um, so maybe I'm just gonna do this. Sometimes I, I do what I feel, feel like I should do. And when I stop, I'm going to just do the one on the top. And this is our herb for the day, okay. Here we go. Oh, Lobelia, my favorite. Lobelia inflata. Get a good look at this plant. So this is the, the little puff kind of um, flower pod. And that is why it's called inflata because it looks like a little inflated balloon. This is Indian tobacco. So there's a caution on this card. It is poisonous in incorrect dosage, dosages. And the reason why is because the Indians, they called this pukeweed. This is a Native American favorite. Um, Indian tobacco, they called it. It is an emetic. It's one of Dr. Christopher's favorites who um, I studied under with the School of Natural Healing. And large amounts, and I'm talking like drinking a tincture bottle like this big uh, will make you vomit. And it's one of those herbs that do, do not taste yummy. <laughs> so it's hard to drink that much. You actually have to make yourself. So Dr. Christopher used to use this herb as an emetic when he had um, patients that were phlegmy phlegmatic, if that's the, the right word, mucus filled in their lungs, like trouble breathing. And he would have them take tea, uh, teaspoons full or tablespoons full, one after another until the patient would cough, expel the mucus, and even throw up actual mucus. I know, it's gross. It's called pukeweed for a reason. Um, but 
wonderful in smaller amounts, which would be like a dropper full size spread throughout the day when you have the, a chest congestion, um, some tightness. It is unnerving, so it's going to help uh, with the nervous system. So let me see what the, the uh, card here says. It's an annual or biennial. Grows three feet in height with small blue flowers, July to November. The fruit is a two-celled capsule containing small brown seeds. Grows in meadows and cultivated in open areas in the eastern United States, westward to the central plains and native to North America. So I have found great blue lobelia, not lobelia and flata on my own property. Traditional herbalists use lobelia for various nerve problems as an antispasmodic and as a diuretic and an expectorant. A poultice can be made of the plant for uh, topical use for insect bites, poison ivy rashes, bruises, ringworm, and other skin problems. So I actually do not have, well, I shouldn't say that. I will put lobelia in ointments, especially my mullein ointment, mullein and lobelia. Dr. Christopher called it the thinking herb and it helps the other herbs think. And uh, it does, it like makes whatever herb you're using work better. My main experience and the main way I like to use this is with an apple cider vinegar. And I do have a video where I show you how to make lobelia with apple cider vinegar as a tincture. It is the great blue lobelia that I picked and used in the video. So I have a story and this is, uh, there was a time when I was, uh, very congested, let's just say, and I don't, you know, it was in the evening and I was having trouble sleeping and I'm trying eucalyptus and uh, different, you know, I think I might have even had like a eucalyptus chest rub, just could not open up. So I sat up, um, so often when I'm like congested in that way, I would use like steam you know, a pot with steam and peppermint, but it was evening, it was, I was trying to sleep, and so I didn't do that, and I sat with the lobelia, and I took dropper full at a time, like maybe every five minutes. Um, I wanna say maybe six to 10 times I took the dropper full. So not, not excessive to the point of vomiting. Um, you have to kind of be aware for your for yourself. Just take some, let it sit. It's the spacing out that helps. It's um, the faster you would take it. So let's say you drink a whole bottle right away. That's going to make you puke. Whereas if you take some lobelia, wait. Take some lobelia, wait. Um, that is not going to cause the vomiting. <laughs> So I did that, opens up my chest, I can cough, I can breathe, and then the relaxing effects, the nerving effects uh, were so wonderful that I was able to go right to sleep and sleep really well and soundly. So oftentimes when I'm like really stressed, um, you know, I have my herbs that are good for stress, but lobelia sort of like brings me back to square one. Like if I've gotten off track too far, I'll take lobelia. Um, and like I said, I use it in an apple cider vinegar base. The other thing about lobelia is it is, uh, it has lobeline, which is like, um, oh my gosh, why am I spacing on this? So tobacco has... What is the chemical in tobacco? It's, it's uh, nicotine, there we go. Lobeline is like nicotine. It mimics it and lobelia can be used to help people break tobacco, uh, tobacco addiction. And in fact, I hate to admit this, but um, I have a video, I have two videos on my experience with Hape, but the one was a warning video where Hape, which I wasn't told by the um, shaman that I had the ceremony with. And I think it should be told to people when they are going to work with Hape. 
it is addictive and can be probably more so for certain people, but I would say pretty much everyone can, you know, be addicted to those effects. So when I, um, I, I worked with Hoppe for a while, Hoppe has Mapacho, which is not the tobacco that is the hybridized GMO, you know, cigarette tobacco. It is a native, um, it's a indigenous South American version, like, um, the old, old school version of the plant. But the Hoppe has, um, tobacco powder, um, Mapacho powdered. And when I stopped, when I wanted to stop working with the Hape because it was very useful for um, opening awareness and consciousness, it was amazing that way. But after a while, it can, um, instead of helping the body, it can actually hurt the body. And I felt like that was what was happening to me. And that can be any plant, any food, where it's like enough is enough, you've, you've, you're using it too much, ice cream, for instance. So to stop with the hape, I I had three days where I was, you know, really relying on the lobelia to help with that. Um, and I know that it works effectively for cigarette smokers and other, pe other people who have reliance on tobacco products. So one of my favorites, I can talk very easily on lobelia because I know it really well and I know it personally. Some plants don't have as much experience. Um, and the experience that I like to have with a plant is from seed to, to its full growth, um, its gro experience through its growing season, cutting it, drying it, and turning it into medicine. And then of course the working with it as medicine, that gives me the, um, the, comfortability to talk about this plant in a very like personal way so um i have my you know few dozen plants that way but lobelia has been like a true true blue really powerful ally for me so i get really excited for it glad i got lobelia i was taking lobelia today because I did not sleep well last night. I'm like, I need to reset. I need to be able to go to bed tonight and really go into a deep sleep. I have a lot on my plate right now and I can kind of get twisted up, turned up, going too fast. So Lobelia is like calming me back down uh, so I can get a good night's sleep. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments on Lobelia, go ahead, comment them. If you want to connect with me, like I said, go to my link tree down below, connect. And if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. Internet hug. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. And I'll see you again soon.